The Life of Padre Pio, A Journey of Faith, Suffering, and Miracles Born Francesco Forgioni on May 25, 1887, in the small Italian town of Pietrelcina, Padre Pio grew up in a deeply religious family that shaped his early spiritual devotion. From a young age, he was captivated by the idea of dedicating his life to God. At only five years old, he made the profound decision to devote his existence to Christ, setting the stage for a life filled with extraordinary faith, immense suffering, and awe-inspiring miracles. By the time he was 15, Padre Pio joined the Capuchin Order, taking on the name Francis Pio in honor of Pope Pius I. Despite suffering from numerous illnesses throughout his life, his spiritual strength never wavered. He began to experience visions, ecstasies, and mystical encounters with God, further solidifying his deep spiritual connection. In 1910, Padre Pio was ordained a priest, marking the beginning of a life dedicated to serving others, the stigmata and the path to sainthood. In 1918, at the age of 31, Padre Pio began to display the stigmata, the visible wounds of Christ on his hands, feet, and side. These wounds, which he bore for 50 years, attracted the attention of the Vatican and the faithful alike. Despite investigations and temporary restrictions from the church, his reputation as a man of God only grew. His followers were drawn not only by the stigmata, but also by his miraculous abilities from healing the sick to by location, from reading hearts to prophetic visions. His life was a testimony to divine intervention, and his influence expanded far beyond the small town of San Giovanni Rotondo, where he lived for most of his life. Though suffering from poor health, Padre Pio persisted in his work, guiding souls to Christ through the confessional, offering spiritual counsel, and celebrating Mass. He urged Christians to pray, hope, and don't worry, a message of simple but profound faith that resonated with millions. Even in the darkest times, Padre Pio's unwavering trust in God offered hope to those who came to him in need. In addition to the stigmata, Pio was believed to possess other mystical gifts, including bilocation, the ability to be in two places at once. He once described this phenomenon to a Vatican investigator, saying, I don't know how it is or the nature of this phenomenon, but it did happen to me to be in the presence of this or that person, to be in this or that place. This ability left those around him in awe, reinforcing the belief that he was a man deeply connected to the divine. Another remarkable event in Pio's life was his experience of transverberation the piercing of his heart with divine love. This intense spiritual and physical experience further deepened his mystical union with God, adding to the sense of awe that surrounded him, a healer and prophet. Throughout his life, Padre Pio was also recognized for his healing abilities. One of the most famous stories involves a young girl named Gemma, who was born without pupils, her grandmother brought her to see Pio in 1947, hoping for a miracle. After Pio prayed for the child, Gemma began to see for the first time in her life. Despite medical skepticism, many believed this and similar healings were a testament to Pio's intercessory power. In addition to healing, Pio was known for his gift of prophecy. One notable example occurred in 1947 when a young priest named Carl Voitilla, later Pope John Paul II, visited Pio. It is said that during this meeting, Pio told Voitilla that he would one day ascend to the highest post in the church. Years later, this prophecy was fulfilled when Voitilla became Pope, although some accounts dispute the details. A Legacy of Compassion one of Padre Pio's most tangible legacies is the Casa Salievo della Sofferenza, a hospital he founded to serve the poor and suffering. Opening its doors in 1956, this home for the relief of suffering 
became a sanctuary of physical healing, a reflection of Padre Pio's deep compassion for those in pain. His vision was not just to cure illness, but to provide care rooted in love and dignity, showing that the path to holiness could be found in both prayer and service to others. Padre Pio believed that through suffering, one could draw closer to Christ, and he exemplified this throughout his life. Despite enduring intense physical pain from his wounds and spiritual trials, he welcomed suffering as a means to unite more deeply with the passion of Jesus. His life was a testament to the power of enduring faith, transforming suffering into a channel of grace. Overcoming Opposition Padre Pio's journey was not without its trials. His growing popularity attracted both admirers and skeptics. The Vatican, wary of the attention surrounding him, imposed severe sanctions in the 1920s, forbidding him from publicly saying Mass, showing his stigmata, or hearing confessions. Yet, despite these restrictions, Pio's influence continued to grow. The local people rallied around him, and eventually, the sanctions were lifted. Even during periods of intense scrutiny, Pio remained humble, trusting in God's will. The Enduring Impact of Padre Pio After Padre Pio's death on September 23, 1968, his legacy continued to flourish. Millions of people have been touched by his example, and countless miracles have been attributed to his intercession. In 2002, Pope John Paul II canonized Padre Pio, recognizing him as a saint whose life was a beacon of hope, faith, and love. Lessons for today. Inspiration from Padre Pio's life. Padre Pio's life holds timeless lessons for those seeking meaning, hope, and a deeper relationship with God. 1. Trust in God's plan. Padre Pio's famous words, pray, hope, and don't worry, remind us that, no matter our struggles, God is in control. This simple message encourages us to place our burdens in God's hands and trust in His divine providence. 2. Embrace suffering with grace. Instead of resisting the trials of life, Padre Pio teaches us to embrace them as opportunities to grow in holiness. He saw his own suffering as a way to participate in Christ's redemptive suffering, offering hope to those who feel overwhelmed by life's hardships. 3. Service to Others Padre Pio's dedication to building the Casa Sollievo della Sofferenza inspires us to serve those in need. True faith is lived out in action, and Padre Pio's life shows that helping others, especially the vulnerable, is central to the Christian vocation. 4. Faith Beyond the Extraordinary While Padre Pio's miraculous gifts attracted many, it was his humility, obedience, and simple faith that left the greatest impact. His life serves as a reminder that holiness is not measured by spectacular deeds, but by love, trust, and devotion in the small things. Padre Pio's life continues to inspire millions to walk the path of faith with courage, humility, and love. His message rings clear for all who seek God. Greater than, the life of a Christian is nothing but a perpetual struggle against self. There is no flowering of the soul to the beauty of its perfection except at the price of pain. Greater than, Pray, hope, and don't worry. Worry is useless. God is merciful and will hear your prayer. St. Padre Pio calls us to live with the same trust and faith, knowing that no matter the obstacles, we are never alone in our journey with God. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.